Scepter Technology приступила к производству компьютеров «Персональный спутник». As a cure for cabin fever brought on by the lockdown, I've been turning my mind to um, more positive thoughts like some of the trails I can do. Raising three young daughters has made it quite difficult for me to get out on uh, multi-day hikes, but I'm hoping to change that this year. And obviously if you're spending longer periods of time off grid, you need to look at different power options for the technology you use. And with that in mind, here are the three devices I take with me regularly on wild camps. The first device is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Obviously you can't see it because I'm using it for filming. This is for filming, communication and entertainment and is the most power hungry of all my devices. Generally, the battery will last me around 24 hours. I have recently started doing a lot of editing in the tent on the iPhone. So you can scratch about six hours off the battery life in those conditions. I've included my iWatch because I do use it for navigation. And although never a replacement for a proper map, it certainly does come in handy. My watch battery will normally last me 24 hours. But when I'm using um, apps such as View Ranger seen here, the battery drains quite quickly. The iWatch works autonomously from the iPhone. So you can pack your phone away and keep it safe. While still using the watch functions, such as the compass here, or making or receiving calls. Hello, I chose this head torch because it can be recharged off the power banks. So to power these devices over 48 hours, I've come up with three options. The first option is the super lightweight one. This is a 5,000 milliamp battery and will charge my iPhone once and my iWatch once. I can use it in conjunction with this solar charger. This retails for around 18.99, but when you compare it to this one by the same manufacturer Anchor, this is 22.99, but double the power. Obviously it's a bit heavier and at only slightly more expense, this will charge my iPhone twice and my Apple Watch twice. The third option is Bertha here. This weighs a massive 600 grams, but the milliamp power is 27,000. So this will, this will charge my iPhone a massive eight times and the uh, iWatch about 20 times. One of the great things about this is you can charge three devices simultaneously. These are an absolute steal on Amazon at the moment. I think they retail for $29.99 um, and they really are a great bit of kit, quite solid, but all that comes at a weight penalty. I've owned this solar charger for around three years now. Uh, the newer versions are a lot more efficient. This is only five watts, but um, I forgive it because it's in camouflage and looks quite funky and it's very lightweight. The solar charger is a great option for charging up your power packs. I won't charge my devices directly from the solar charger. The iPhone 11's battery can be damaged by the solar charger so it's better to charge the power banks instead. I'm quite confident that I can power all three of my devices for at least 72 hours using a combination of these power banks and solar charger. But if any of you guys out there have got any other ideas, let me know in the comments section below.